Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 22nd, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to yet more solar flares heading our way. As I posted in last night, late last night's video, Earth facing solar flares, B class, C class. Now SDO is down, and this is the last imagery that I had snagged that from the live stream that was going on moments ago. So we're looking at the multi spectrum right now, active sunspot 2824, Earth facing. Look at all those flashes. Wow. So, yes, uh, NOAA is reporting uh, two B-class solar flares and a C-class solar flare. And as I posted in the Lasco image, it is headed our way. And as well, ISWA is showing all of that energy heading our way. But amazing imagery here of a very large and active sunspot, 2824, as well Look at this cresting sunspot doing the same thing that this one did. So there's one, two, three. And then this cresting sunspot getting a little bit spastic as it comes into view. And that's the same thing that 28 and 24 did. So heads up, friends and family. Our sun is wide awake as it has created many Space weather events over the past two weeks. Even four weeks for that matter, ever since that large plasma filament eruption on the southern hemisphere. I don't know if you remember that or not. But the dynamics of our sun changed after that. Amazing SDO imagery, which is down right now. Hopefully they just turned it off so that they can protect their cameras against this energy that is coming. We are expecting it 24th, 25th. It's coming pretty quick. Now, something I wanted to show and share with you all. Quakes in the lakes around the world. Yesterday, we did have many earthquakes throughout China. And this was all around many lakes through the Tibetan plateau. Look at that. Many aftershocks all around the region. North and south of all these lakes. Not only that, when we had the large 6.1 earthquake in China yesterday in Dali, that as well is right beside a very large lake and very heavily populated area. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected by this particular quake yesterday in Dali, China. I know that they did have a lot of damaged infrastructure and as well a few lives lost. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in China. What's up with the quakes in the lakes? There's a lot of pressure coming up, coming through, coming out across the planet right now. And just recently, we did have some earthquakes in Quinton, Oklahoma, 2.7, 2.4. And yeah, sure enough, quakes around a lake. Eiffel. The Eiffel Lake. That's pretty much the fault zone from the New Madrid into the West Coast. And just recently, a 3.5 was reported. After this 2.1, 2.7. So it's starting to swarm. And this isn't fracking, folks. This is the New Madrid. So the quakes are still happening in, happening in Oklahoma, but as well they're happening in Little Lake, Ridgecrest, Sear, towards Sears Valley, 2.5 Little Lake. And this was all at the same time. Tom's Place was going off 2.5 Mammoth Lakes. And as well Davis Lake, Mina, Nevada, Swarming, Walker Lake, Dollar Point, of course, Lake Tahoe, and then northward here in Davis Lake, Lake Davis, California, Chester, 
that looks north of a lake as well. So yes, a lot of pressure is being released through the steam geysers across California. But as well, there's something coming up in the lakes. And I'll bet you most of these lakes are old volcanoes, dormant volcanoes. Having a quick look here at the earthquake map, 3.2 there, Oklahoma. So the seismicity is increasing across North America, and we're seeing these quakes in the lakes across the world. Massive amounts of pressure coming out of China. Texas shaking, New Mexico, of course. This is the area that I'm going to be watching over the next little while, and as well through Nevada and Utah, I'm going to be watching. So much pressure being released. Have a quick look here. 5.5, that was reported yesterday. South America early today, 4.9 and 4.6. Peru. Quiet across the African plate. A couple of earthquakes there reported yesterday. And then all of this activity through China, as they've seen at least a dozen aftershocks since the large 7.3 earthquake yesterday. And Dali, China has seen at least 10 aftershocks in the region as well. Looking at a very busy planet, everybody. And I want to thank everybody while I've got you here. Thank you for all of your memberships. Thank you for all of the support to the channel. Much love, and I'm very appreciative to all of your support and love to Morning Dew Productions and my research. Just have a plan. Stay safe, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. Heads up, Central America, South America. Look at all this activity around Antarctica as well. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, giving you a quick earthquake update and as well an update on our sun. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. Thank you.